Pero what happened, Yeyo? Yeyo. Hi, mister. Yeyo. How are you, Yeyo? Hello, hello. Enjoy your meal. <laughs> Thank you so much, <laughs> mister. <laughs> Give me just a uh, 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 Okay, but I just got only one bread, so that means I can give you only the half of the bread. <laughs> okay, nice. Enjoy it. Enjoy. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. You were not still here. Actually, I just I just joined. I just yes, because joined. like five minutes ago, I entered the English class, but um, anyone were here. Uh, okay, so nobody was, nobody was here. But yeah, we're here. We're about to start. We're gonna wait for one more minute so everybody connects and then good we can evening, start. Teacher. Hello, good evening, Alfredo. Welcome. In one minute, we're going to start. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, Janita. How was your day? My day was really busy. Thank you so much for asking. What about your day? My day, excellent. Hey, so I'm glad to hear that, you know. Yeah, I think it's also a matter of attitude, right? If you are like very positive on what you do, you have you know better days, but if you're negative, negative or you know, negative about life, then you're gonna have a terrible day. But then, thank you so much for connecting, class. I really appreciate your punctuality. I can see we are as of now we are ten people, including me. So that's cool. Well, I'm happy to be here again connected. I'm gonna be uh. Let's see, developing, uh, this is session number three, right? Yeah, session number three. Okay, give me just a second. I'm going to start sharing the screen. Just a second, please. Let's see. Okay. All right, on a scale of one from one to nine, considering Mr. Bean's scale, which one best represents your mood? What's your bio for today's session? Which number? How do you feel? Mm, number three. Okay, I see. Okay, let's see. Then he says that he's all of them. <laughs> okay. What about the other ones? How do you feel? What's your mood? What's your vibe for today's session? Number one. Number one. Okay. I like that one. Number one is like relax. Yeah. All right, um, let's see. Well, we're gonna uh, start today's session then. Thank you so much for sharing. Yesterday, we began to study a topic about modal verbs, right? I remember you posted some of the some of the examples you already know, and then we're gonna keep talking about that. And I'm also expecting to start section number two today, okay? So let's see, uh, hmm, first one, what, are you, what did you learn yesterday? Anybody, any volunteer? What did you practice or review in case you already know, you already knew about the topic we studied yesterday? Uh, I don't remember very well, but at the end, I remember you were teaching us uh, how how do we have to use the 
N. <laughs> A and D. The, the right way to use in a, in a sentence. Okay. Because so I only I only stay at the English class at the end when you were about to finish it. Let's see. Well, okay, that's what you remember. And what about the other ones? What did we practice yesterday? Do you remember what we talked about yesterday? In the use, however. In the use of however, the use of though, the use of but, the use of and. And how do we call them? What is the name of this, these words? Do you remember? Con congestion. Exactly, conjunctions. Okay, good. Thank you so much, Alfredo. Yes, so that, that was yesterday's topic. Quick question. Do you guys have access to the platform? Are you already working on the exercises? Because today we are moving to section number two. That means that you should be finishing section number one, okay? Just in case you are falling behind, make sure you, you know, um, stay up to date, okay? So let's see, we're gonna start, we're gonna continue. Yesterday, I wasn't able to explain like Twitter or I wasn't able to provide you with more example about modal verbs, specifically can and should, okay? So based on your previous experience or knowledge about the topic, when do we use should? Anybody, any idea? Choose, I can say, is a modal verb that is commonly used when you want to make a suggestion to someone. Okay, good, good contribution. That's a good idea. So when, when you want to make a suggestion, right? Good. Okay, let me write that word down. Let me write it down. I heard somebody says suggesting, right? Suggesting. Okay. Suggestion. Okay, good. Yeah, I like it. What about can? How or when do we use can? Any idea? I come, I come, I come. What did he say? When is a possibility? Possibility, yeah. okay. Yeah, okay. And should where, when is a, a courtesy? A courtesy? 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 Uh, yeah, formal. It's formal, yeah, it's formal. And then should is more like recommendation or suggestions, right? And yeah, can, as you just mentioned, right? Possibilities, okay? It also describes, you know, the ability to do something, right? Yeah. Okay. I wanted to say that. <clears throat> nice, but thank you so much then for your opinions. Let's take a look at this example. I need two volunteers. I mean, I think I'm not gonna, I'm gonna select the ones who's gonna, who's gonna read. Let's see, Selena. Selena, help me out, please. I want you to read the first part of this slide. Let's just go over this part, the one that I'm just circling. Read all this, please. Yes, please. Okay. What can I do in Mexico City? You can see the plans of my house. You can now visit some museum. 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 Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. Quick question for, let's see. This question goes to Brenda Diaz. Brenda Diaz, what can I do in El Salvador? What can I do in El Salvador? Let's be more specific. What can I do in San Salvador city? Uh, 
Or what can I do in that in San Salvador's downtown? You can go to the cinema. You can go to the cinema. Good. Okay, that's good. Jocelyn, what can I do in your town? I can um, go to shopping. I barely heard you, but I think you heard uh, soccer. Is that what you said? Let's see. It's okay. Uh, now, Judy, Judy Magdalena. What can I do in where where do you live, Judy? Where do you live? Which um what is the name of, of your hometown? Santana. I'm sorry. Santa Ana. Sa Santa Ana. Oh, that's a nice, that's a nice city. So, so let's see, what can I do in Santa Ana? Mm -hmm. You can see Teatro Nacional. Theater. National Theater. Oh, okay. National Theater. And what should I see there? There. Like the second question. So if I can see the, the National Theater, now a more specific question is what should I see there, like in that place, in the National Theater? Um, you should visit the um, cathedral. Okay, a different place, the cathedral. Okay, yes, I, I've been there. I know what it is. It's a good place to visit. Thank you so much. Well, as you can see, this is how we can ask questions, right? Uh, what should I see? What should I do? Uh, what can I do in the, in the case of the other question? And then now the video, if you saw the video, provides you know, the structure and how to use it. And we're gonna discuss it because that's basically you know, important on this. And I want you to create questions. This is a formula, not difficult, not, not that hard to do it. As you can see, the WH questions word, we have many. Like, uh, can you tell me what, the, what are the question words you know? How many do you know? Do you know? I think you know all of them. Am I right? So can you tell me what are those? All the question words you know, besides where? How? How? Thank you. How? Why? Why? Who? Who? Yes. Okay, there, there, there can be some other, right? Maybe we can make even, you know, uh, a question using how many, how much, and blah, blah, blah. That, that will depend on what you want to ask or which, you know, you can you can even use which and, and you know, which is another WH word. Now, with this question form, with this structure, with this formula, I want you to ask a question, whatever comes to your mind. Okay. If you see the example, where should we go? So not, not necessarily about you know the place, the thing we've been talking on the, on the on today's topic. Just you know you know make up a new question using this formula. And since I want everybody to participate, I want to open a space, and I would love to hear or to see everybody you know sharing sharing what you understand. Ask a question. It can be a question in uh, first person. What should I do or, or where should we? And then, or you can use any other subject, even people's name. So in this screen, uh, with this whiteboard, I want you to enter or submit your, your questions. So I'm gonna give three minutes because I don't have much time. Let's see how many we can get to write on in three minutes. Okay, I want to give you the first one. What kind of place would you like to visit? Oh, yeah. Nice. What kind of place would you like? I'm going to write it down for you. You can still, what kind, what kind of 
what kind what kind of place would you like to visit or would you like that's it nice the modal verse in this case is wood right wood okay nice what kind of place would you like to visit yeah it's a good one okay what are, what else what else you can i got i got i got that uh, we we have to make a sentence using the last uh, module verb that we saw or yeah it doesn't matter if you put would actually but you it, can put should if you want you can put should should or can yeah you can use them but if you if you use would and like you used it it's okay because the topic class for today is basically modal verbs okay that is the topic okay. And then wood is a, is a, is also considered a modern bird, so that that's fine. All right. So then, what else? Come on, I want you to ask questions, as many as you can. That gives me the idea that you know what we're talking about. But if you don't know what we're talking about, just let me know. It's it's really essential that you let me know, so I can try to provide you with more examples in, in how to write questions with this you know structure. How can I go on Santana City? How can I go to? Yeah, how can I go to or how can I get to San Santana City? Yes, that's a, that's a good one. How can I get? That will that's more like the the answer is something like what means of transportation you can use, right? Exactly. Oh right. Okay. All right. So just tell me what else do you do you um or can you come up with? Any other ideas? The ones who don't participate, is that because you don't want to participate or is that because you don't understand? Los que no participan es porque no entienden o porque no quieren participar. I have another example, teacher. Uh -huh. Teacher. Teacher. Uh -huh. Rafael, and then we'll we give the opinion to the second one who's going to participate. Okay. Yes, go ahead, Rafael. Okay. What should we eat today? I like it. Yeah. What should we eat today? Is a hamburger. Yeah. Like you're trying to make a suggestion, right? Okay. Nice. That's a good one. Let me write it down. Okay. Yes, what was the question? And somebody said teacher. Teacher. Yes. My ask, what activities should you do when you go to the beach? Nice. That's a good one. That's that's a, what activities should we do when we go to the beach? Yes. Yes, exactly. I like it. What should we eat today? What activities? This one I like them because I, we use the WH word plus a noun. What activities should we right? Should should we do when we go to the beach? Beach, beach, beach. Okay, nice. What activities should we do when we go to the beach? Nice. That's another one. And it's like we're we're having basically, you know, uh, this is a question that demands more speaking, right? You can access listing or even describing the activities. I like this question. All right. What else? What else? Should I stop eight a load of brick? break <laughs> should i stop eating a lot of bread okay yes yeah i think especially at night <laughs> especially at night should i that is like should i should i stop should i stop eating should i stop eating blah 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 fast food or, or pastry or food? and then yes yes that's like um this is an open-ended question it is yes or no right yes you should or no, you shouldn't. Okay, that's how it works. Nice. Okay, so we need to move on. This is the this is the first uh, you know idea, and then we're gonna continue with the other ones. As you can see, class. Well, the structure I showed you is very similar for 
Well, we should like negative form, we just say subject model verb plus not. So you can either say should not, or you can like make it in a in a contracted form, which is going to be we shouldn't, we shouldn't or shouldn't go to a museum. Well, now give me some suggestions or recommendations, like um like your friend, like your teacher, or like uh, any other you know classmate. You can give let's list let's make a list of of uh, sentences using negative this negative um, connotation see you shouldn't what you shouldn't you should not you know uh whenever you say the full form is more like for me it's more like it's more I would say you want to make more emphasis. It's stronger. Like if I say, yeah, Rafael, you should you shouldn't drink soda. You know, simple, simple like suggestion. But if I say, Rafael, you should not drink soda. It's like I'm making more emphasis on the not. So for me, it's like uh, the emphasis you make also transmit an idea or a meaning. Okay, but uh, it's just a matter of the intonation or or how you say it sometimes. But then. Let's just focus on the structure, okay? What what ideas come to mind? To share. Go ahead, tell me, tell me. What are your examples, class? Participate, please. Remember, this is your class, and if I start listing examples, I think that's not the right way. You should be... You should eat a lot of fat food. You shouldn't eat a lot of fast food, right? Because you're gonna get fat, right? Yeah, so please participate class. Participate because this is your class. And if you don't participate, I don't think it's okay if I'm speaking more than you. You should be speaking, not me. But then give me more examples. Yes, go ahead, please. You can tell Spanish? Me? Yes. Do you want me to Spanglish? It, 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 is it, a, come, a, example. Oh, it's an example. Okay, yeah, okay. Uh, you, uh, you can tell the Spanish. It's correct or not? Yeah, if it is, a, if it is, a, um, you can talk Spanish, that's like, um, that's affirmative. You can talk Spanish. But then it's more like you you can speak Spanish. It's more appropriate to say uh, speak. You can speak Spanish uh, or you can't speak Spanish or can you speak Spanish? Yes. Yeah, you can say that. It follows the you know the structure. What 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 other ideas do you, do you have in mind? Please please share them. I got like one advice for you mm -hmm. for me at the same time. Mm -hmm. We should not spend the money in useless. It's tough. Exactly. We shouldn't spend our money in useless stuff. And like the Black Friday. <laughs> Maybe we don't need we don't need, but there's a promotion. I like this this kind and you get it. But then in the long run, you don't need it, right? We have to be really like wise on, on making decisions as to what we really need. And we need to this is this is something that I want to tell you, Robert. <clears throat> we need to. Prioritize. <clears throat> I'm sorry. We need to prioritize. Prioritize. It's great because you have okay. This is what I need. I don't need this. And then you start prioritizing, and that's how it works. All right. So, what about this slide, class? What do you think? Uh, what does it tell you? What do you understand about this slide that I'm presenting at the moment? It says. We do not take final models, do not take final tests. So if I say, hey, you know what, Christian? Uh, you shouldn't, uh, Christian shouldn't go to the beach. I don't say that, right? Because even though Christian is their person, I don't say goes, I should say infinity, right? Main verb. I cannot say Alfredo shouldn't play soccer. No, I know Alfredo is their person, but final S are not added because after modal verbs, we just add main verb with no changes, okay? Base form. 
this is just a reminder, just in case you say, Maria shouldn't drink no S because even though it's Maria, but even though it's present, but then since we're using modal verbs, we don't add the letter S. This is just a reminder for you that we do not apply the third person rule in this context, all right? Do you have questions about this little reminder? Questions or is this, is this a slide clear? No questions? It's clear. clear. Let's move on, thank you so much. We are, we are changing section. What is the name of this section, Janita? Section two, it's what? It really works. It really works, nice, okay. Now we're gonna talk about different, you know, idea. I want you to brainstorm health problems, okay, on the chat. Send me health problems that you can think about. Whatever comes to your mind, it's okay. I want to read all your ideas. Let's brainstorm health, health problems, class. I'm going to start with one. Let's see. Um, like in my case, so see. Maybe this one for me. I don't know if anybody has. I have a different one. So I want I want to read your examples. Health problems, disease, sicknesses. What comes to your mind? What uh, yeah. maybe think about the one you suffer more. I don't know mm -hmm. if, if that's if that's the mm -hmm. Brainstorm means let's make hagamos una lluvia de ideas. Brainstorm, that's what it means. Okay. Yeah, I I understood you say uh, the most common illness mm -hmm. that we usually got yeah. is for example <laughs> oh, when we got that when we when we get a lot of uh, stress in our workplace, I usually get headache. And stress but, leads to headache. Yes, I, yeah, that's that's true. I work with uh, like my full time job is I, I work at a public school. That's my full time job. So I work with a third third cycle. I teach from fourth grade to eleventh grade, and then you know a lot of things, a lot of uh, stress sometimes. But then um, that leads to what? To get headaches yeah from time to time okay what else sometimes in my case insomnia is something that i i cannot i cannot sleep because i'm thinking about what am i going to do tomorrow what what haven't i done and so on what else what are some other uh health problems you can think about a lot yeah of that flu. flu is common yes a lot of flu yeah that flu is common you know especially when it's it's winter or yeah, we got the flu. What else? Just headache, flu. There are some others. What are stomachache? Stomachache. Stomach problems. Yes, yeah, stomachache. Yeah. Stomach, stomach ache. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else? Fever. Fever, yes, fever is another one. Sore throat, I can see you're sending more example. Fever, sore throat, okay, what else? Let's think about, you know, common diseases or common health problems we, we might run into nowadays. Let's focus, let's now take a look at the ones we have, we have presented on that. Backache, yeah, backache is actually just one that is one, but it's one it's, this one is listed in the in the common health complaints that I have on the screen right now. Headache, you know, somebody already said it, right? Headache, backache, like especially when we are older, the sore muscles, like you, you know, sore muscles, it, it hurts a lot. You know? 
And then uh, stomach ache, you said it already, a cold, yeah, a, a cold cough, you said coughing, the flu, yes, and insomnia. So these are the ones presented on the past vocabulary. If you don't know any of these, my recommendation is write it down. So you should write it down. Let's uh, let's check on pronunciation. The first one, backache. I'm sorry, backache. The first one is headache. The second one is backache. Headache, backache. Headache, backache. Ache is basically, you know, the pronunciation of this last this last ending. Ache, 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 ache is a synonym for hurt or pain, right? Okay, <clears throat> muscles, yes, muscle pains, yes. Lartosaur muscles, yes, very good. Sarcoma, yes, another one. Sh shoulder and neck pain due to stress, yes. That's, that's true, setting Castillo. Yeah, due to a lot of stress, right? We tend to have you know, these complications. And then the stomach ache, especially uh, for maybe eating, food from the street or maybe the water is not drinking water is not potable water the can give us you know some other yeah what problems with our health right parasites for example <laughs> yeah and well stomach ache all right so these are some of the ones presented allergies yes allergies yeah a lot of dust on the street you know that causes allergies too Good. So I can see you have, you know, mentioned some others on the chat. Thank you so much for your participation. Let's move on. Fever. Yeah, fever. And let's see. What are some possible medicines? Class? What do you do when you have a headache? What should I, what should I take when I, when I have a headache? I should take it easy, right? <laughs> but then what else should I take? What can I take if I have a headache? What What do you recommend? What should I do to re like relieve a little bit? You can have a pill for that. A pill? Pain, uh, yeah. There's a painkillers, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. A pill. Pain. Okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay. What else? Let's see. Let's take a look at the ones here. The ones presented on the on the presentation. Uh, just see we have the next one we have this conversation about health problems and i need joan and, and craig maybe um just two volunteers okay let's see i have 21 students this is nice so i just need two who wants to volunteer to read this conversation Thank you so much, Alfredo. That is the right attitude. And one more. Okay. Thank you, Janita. Okay. So, Joan, Janita, and Craig, Alfredo. Three, two, one, go. How, hi, Crane. How are you? No, so good. I had a terribly call. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. And have you take anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it's sometimes... Um, and sometimes helpful, help, helpful to eat. Uh, teacher, al final they say garlic? Yeah, garlic. 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 Okay, soup. garlic soap. You scrub up a good head of garlic and cook it in chicken stock. Try it. It's really work. Yeah, that sounds helpful. 
just imagine jock that sounds awful i don't want to even try it right do you guys like arabic do you guys like garlic to eat garlic uh -huh. people, people take garlic as medicine one clove of garlic and then as a pill they said it's, it's a good medicine for many uh, problems you know diseases that we can have and then well let's analyze this conversation okay let's see um this word rest get a lot of rest get a lot of rest rest taken the ending is taken and then the action of chop up is like when you chop chop something chop it chop up and then chicken stock. Do you know all, what, what a chicken stock is? Chicken stock. Yeah. Are we familiar with this vocabulary? Do you understand this conversation class? Easy. Or do you have chicken stock? Chicken oh, stock is like it's like for example the place that we usually have the chickens or what if what if what if chicken stock means. Mm -hmm. I know stock has different different meanings, but in this case, stock is not referring to the place. It's referring to a. It's like a, it's let's put it like a dish, like a recipe. Okay, stock, ah, okay. chicken stock. Okay. Chicken stock is like el caldito de pollo in this scenario. Okay, oh, that's wow. what it is. And this this scenario, that's what it means. Now, um, I need two other participants, but listen to me. I want you to exaggerate a little bit. I want you to exaggerate. So like play the role, play the role of, of, of Gray. Look at the picture, he's not feeling good. He's like, he's feeling a little bit, you know, down, he's not feeling okay. So how would you speak when you, when, how how do you speak when you are like mm, sick? So what do you say? Or how do you, what is your intonation? Does it change or do you speak the same normally? Well, I don't think we will be speaking the same if we have like health problems. So I need two other volunteers, two more volunteers to play the role, to play the role and try to be like um, empathetic with uh with with Greg and if you're Greg try to you know exaggerate a little bit. Roberto is the first volunteer. Thank you so much. One more. And David. Okay. So Robert, Joan, and and Greg's going to be David. One, two, three. Go ahead. Hi Crane. How are you? Not so good. I have terrible cold. Really? What's too bad? You should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. And have you taken anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic so just chop up a whole head of garlic and cook it in chicken stock stock. Try it. It's really worse. Yeah, that's so awful. Like shock. That sounds awful. How can you say that to me, right? But then when you say, well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. Just chop it or not. Just chop. Just, just chop up a whole head of garlic and cook it in a in a chicken chicken stock. And then try it. Try try to convince and try it. Try it. You know, try it. It really works. But then uh, maybe how you say it is important, right? So you can convince um the person you are talking to. Well, class, this is the conversation. And then if there are no other um questions about meaning or pronunciation, we are going to move on. Are we okay with this conversation? Where is Jack in Spanish? Jack is like when when you say Jack is because it's something disgusting. It's gross, you know. You wouldn't do it. 
For example, if somebody starts puking, like vomiting, yuck, yuck. Then, then you say yuck, like casco. Casco. In Spanish? Mm -hmm. Casco. Casco. Oh, okay. Jack. Jack yeah. is an expression. Jack. When something is disgusting, you know, disgusting. That's disgusting for you. Jack. I wouldn't do it. So whenever you taste something and you don't like it, you can say jack. That's awful. I don't want it. You know, I would just eat garlic, but maybe uh, garlic bread, but then I don't like much garlic. Okay. All right. And what else? Any other question? No? Are we okay? If that okay, let's move on then. Let's move on. Time really flies. We only like have 40 minutes. No, it's like less than that. I only have 20 minutes left. All right. Let's continue. Let's see. What about infinitive to uh provide or to give you know like recommendations? This is important. First of all, what is an infinitive? Infinitive is the verb, like the ones we have here. Look at the example. We have to and plus the base form. That is called infinitive. To get, to eat, to make, to take. Okay, that is infinitive. And we're using the infinitive to make you know, a suggestion, to make a recommendation. Like the, the question is, what should I do for a cold? And then we have these expressions, which are nice. I, I recommend you to maybe write them down so you, you have them like ready to use them whenever you want. It's important. It's important. It's sometimes helpful. It's a, it's a good idea. And then right after these expressions, you can use your own ones, of course. You make an infinitive. You use an infinitive, okay? It's important to blah, blah, blah. It's sometimes helpful too. It's a good idea too. And then you can mention other expressions. What, what, what are some other expressions you think we can use instead of it's important or it's essential or it's what? What else can what else do you use when you say uh, something like this similar? You can use you can even use adverse, yeah, like like the ones we practice to make more emphasis. What do you think? What are some ideas you can uh, think about? to use this uh, structure. It's, it's what? It's, 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 and then the infinity. Okay. It's sometimes really helpful to have a lot of water, like for example, one easy, a easy one. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. That's that's an example. Yeah. What well, we're well, what we're just trying to illustrate here, class, is that we have to use the infinitive, right? So if I say, Robert, if I say it's important get a lot of rest, then I'm making a mistake. I'm not connecting the idea correctly. If I say it's a good idea, take some vitamin C, that's not correct because I'm not connecting my idea with an infinitive. So the idea must. There's not, there's not a choice. It must be connected with an infinity form. That's the point of this explanation. So let's see. Uh, let's take a look at some suggestions here. And I want you to help me to create some others as well. Suggestions and advice, okay? The first one, let's see. I'm gonna choose one to read the, only the first one. Let's see, I'm gonna choose uh, Griselda. Griselda Velasquez, only read the first, the first one, this one. Diego, Ruano, help please with this one. Giselle, I think is not, is either she's busy or either uh, she's not here. Okay, so what about Diego? Or maybe problems with the connectivity, I don't know. Diego, what about this one? Can you read this? Diego, Sonia Guadalupe.
ya sí, sí, sí. Ah, bueno, ya bien, creo que está. Estaba de oyente, le iba a decir. Ah, uh, yeah. I, I, I know it says oyente. But if you can participate, it's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. El food to go to the doctor. Okay, that's one option. That's one example. David Armando, the second one, please. It is important to the drink lot out the water. Okay, it is important to drink lots of water. And then is Gerardo, the last one. It is a good idea to take cold drops. Okay, it's a good idea to take cough drops. Okay, good. So now, think about one health problem and then give me one possible suggestion or, or advice following this structure, okay? So maybe on your notebook or your computer, if you are using a computer, write the health problem and then write the suggestion. I'll give you, we don't have much time, maybe three minutes, okay? Try to use your own ideas. I'm gonna stop sharing so I can see if, the, if you are really working, okay? So three minutes, write a health problem and also write that solution, let's say, or the possible recommendation. Okay, one example. Okay. Uh, we must to stay at home when we are sick mm -hmm. so can we you... can get better awesome. so we can recover our health. I like it. Can you repeat it one more time, please? Okay. It's really helpful to stay at home when we are sick so we can recover our health. Yeah. Nice. But, but I didn't say that. I uh, it, it's cause I just I just say that because it's just what it came in my mind at that point. But I, I remember I say uh, we must stay at home when we are sick mm -hmm. so we can recover our health. So we can recover. Exactly. Yeah. And it's great because you are able to change your ideas. That tells me that you are you are now thinking in English. When you are able to change your ideas from like all of a sudden, it, that means that you are in a different stage. You're not simply trying to memorize something. So, so that's good. That's good when you change your idea lab. Okay. I forgot, but I, you know, I'm gonna say this. Yes, go ahead. Uh, stomach fine, not eating much in the night. Mm -hmm. Okay. So comprende? Yeah, it is it is understandable. And what about if you use the structure? So if it's the stomach, it's stomach A, and then uh you the point here is that you use this structure. It is important, it is helpful, it is a good idea, it is essential, it is uh extremely what necessary. And after this expression, you say an infinity to do okay. this, to do that. Uh -huh. It is a good idea eating much at night can you say it one more time please not eating much at night it's a good idea okay it's a good uh, it's a good idea and then it's, what's next it's a good idea not eating much at night no oh, comer mucho en mm -hmm. la noche I am gonna write it down because I want to explain something. Uh, okay, so you said it, it's like, it's a good idea, not, and then and then you say not, after not. You say eat at night, like this, is that what you said? Así lo digo. If you said it like this, solo falta un detallito. What is the detail that is missing here? After we mentioned the expression, like it's a good idea, the point here is to connect the suggestion or the advice with an infinitive. And how do I add an infinitive? By adding the 
word to. So I say, it's a good idea not to eat at night if it's negative, right? But if it's positive, it's a good idea to eat at night if it is, if it is affirmative. But then the point in class, and this is for everybody, is to connect the second expression with two because we're using infinitive, okay? Infinitive, okay? Keep that in mind. That's, I want you to remember that we need to connect the second idea of the expression with two. Why do I need two? Because I'm using an infinitive to provide my suggestion. That is the point, okay? Let's see the one we have on the, on the chat. Janira says, it's very important to exercise every day. Exactly. That's, that's, that's really good because it's after important, you connect the idea with infinity to exercise. Fatima, it's important to eat three times a day. It's important to understand the English. Yes, it is, uh, Ana Maria. Now, we can say important, but we can also say any other expression that comes to your mind. Like I said, it's important, a synonym is it's essential, it's uh, crucial, it's um, recommended, and so on and so forth, okay? All right, so this is the idea. I'm going to move on because I only have 10 more minutes and I need to cover some other stuff. <laughs> yes, Alfredo, it's important to pay bills to avoid lay fees. Do you know lay fees? Do you know what late it is? Do you know what late is? So I guess on late fees. Yeah, okay, I think you know, right? Late fees when you pay extra because you you pay late. Like that's recargo. Oh. Uh -huh, you pay extra because uh, like if you forget. Como to, la mora. La mora. Como la mora. La mora. Sí. Y créanme que las compañías no perdonan a uno. Te pasa un día y ahí está, ya están los tres dólares de más. Three dollars. Son, son, son tres, tres, es, yeah, three, three dollars. You know, that we, you can use for any other activity. So, we are three dollars pay, dollars. I'm let, sorry? Let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you something. We have uh -huh. to pay uh, late fees when we are over date. Is yeah. that right? Yes, when you, um, if you, let's say you don't pay on time, that is, if you pay late, that is overdue. If it's overdue, you need to pay for late fees. So it is important to pay on time so you can avoid late fees. Yeah. Yes, that's how it works. Okay, so any other example that you can think about? Any other example? So we, we move on. Les iba a decir, the dólares son, son tres, tres este, extras. Y ahí apareció una de Instagram. No sé si la vieron. <laughs> tres beers. <laughs> the dólares son tres beers. Well, um, but then I know you, ustedes son bien, bien gente decente. Aquí nadie, nadie piensa en eso. Solo yo estoy pensando en eso. Okay. I don't know why, but then maybe it's, 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 the, it's a routine, right? But then take it easy, guys. take it easy. No, we shouldn't be that complicated, okay? It's a good idea to go shopping on weekend. Yes, I know I am. Yes. Because if you live uh, sometimes, you know, you're shopping. If you do shopping on weekdays, you might have some other things too, right? The routine. Well, thank you so much then. Let's move on. Vamos a continuar. Tenemos um, like seven minutes y hay una dos actividades más que revisar. Okay. Uh, this conversation. Vamos a ir, vamos fast porque yo percibo que, es, que si no me preguntan es porque se están entendiendo. Pero si, si voy rápido, stop me. Say, uh, I don't know, repeat it again, say it again, give me an example. Please have this, con this trust, have this confidence. You know, to ask. No problem. I, I, I'm totally fine. Vamos a revisar this last dialogue. Y luego, pues, aquí nos vamos a quedar. La invitación, the, the invitation is that you keep on, like, solving and working on that platform. Guys, crucial to have all, you know, um, completed. 
by Friday. You know this because you've been here for a while already. Okay, so let's see. <clears throat> I want you to listen to me once and then I'm going to need one more pair to, to say. We have a pharmacist and Mr. Mrs. Webb. <clears throat> Hi, may I help you? Yes, please. Could I have something for, for a cough? I think I'm getting a cold. Well, I suggest a box of these cough drops. Thank you. And what do you suggest for dry skin? Try some, some of this new lotion. It's very good. Okay. And one more thing. My husband has no energy these days. You see? <laughs> Can you suggest anything? You should try some of these multivitamins. They're excellent. Great. May I have three large bottles, please? The señora está on fire. Okay. She wants three large bottles for, for her husband. All right. Now I need, let's see, one volunteer. One, two volunteers, actually. Ah, while there is important to check your health three times a year, it's good to keep your body. Yeah, uh -huh. That's preventive, prevent prevention, right? Yes, I agree with you. I definitely agree. You know what the problem is, Walter, that we sometimes prioritize incorrectly. You know, we don't we we don't we don't do what we should do, which is you know, uh, you know, checking up. All right, uh, Diego and Sonia. Diego is gonna be the pharmacist, and this is where Sonia. And we finish. Go ahead, Sonia. Diego. Three, two, one, go. Hi, may I help you? If you want, I can help you. Yeah, please, because of time. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Yes, please. Could I have something for a cough? I think I'm getting a cold. Well, I should get a box of these cold drops. Thank you. And, I... and what do you suggest for dry skin? Try some of this new lotion. It's very good. Okay. And one more thing. My husband has no energy these days. Can you suggest anything? He should try some of these multivitamins. They are excellent. Great. May I have three large May I have three large bottles, please? All right, thank you so much. Well done. Class, well, that's basically it. Tomorrow we're gonna retake from this conversation. Please uh, review the base forms of the verb, the structures about modal verbs, access to the platform, and to not leave it for Friday, please try to complete the exercises uh, like on a daily basis. So you don't leave it at the very last minute. We as, as Salvador, we tend to be procrastinators, but you know, let's not do it like this. Because if we do that, we're gonna be really frustrated at the very last minute. And I don't want that to happen. So you just need to just need to organize your time and use it wisely. So that's gonna be it for today. See you tomorrow and keep studying. You're doing a good job, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night, teacher. 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 See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. See you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Blessing. Bye, teacher.